Everything I ate at a street market in Barcelona. First up, you gotta find a seat at one of the many bars for some tapas. We started off with a classic. These patatas bravas are twice fried and smothered in creamy garlicky aioli and this freaking delicious spicy sauce. They're so good. And then these ham croquettes have this super thin crispy outer layer and then the inside just melts in your mouth. It's so creamy and savory and meaty. And there was also so much fresh seafood. And I've always wanted to try a sea urchin. So you dump out the innards, then you add hot sauce or lemon juice or whatever you want and then you scoop out the meat and it's so soft and a little sweet and like spicy and tangy really delicious and the amount of meat in this market is kind of overwhelming but i had to try the famous jamon iberico they served it in little cones with cheese and it's delicious it's almost like buttery and kind of nutty chris liked it too and then i got sidetracked by all the beautiful candy you just fill up a bag with whatever you want and this cute little ice cream cone marshmallow was banana flavored and covered in sugar it was so fluffy and sweet and this rainbow gummy was super sour and chewy and anyway that's all for today only eating at black owned restaurants for a full day in honor of juneteenth we started off at a brunch spot and i got these new orleans barbecue fried shrimp that are tossed in the chef's homemade barbecue sauce that is seriously so flavorful it's smoky and tangy and the shrimp was super tender and they also had beignets which were piping hot like fresh out of the fryer and on the outside it was so crispy and flaky but then so soft and fluffy inside and they came with a strawberry sauce that kind of tasted like a strawberry smoothie really sweet but honestly they were just so perfect by themselves and then later i went to a soul food spot that smelled like heaven inside like i wanted to order everything but you already know i had to get the oxtail because i'm obsessed it's just always so tender and it just like falls off the bone and then it was in this rich savory gravy and the mac and cheese was so cheesy they also gave me a bunch of hot sauce and you know i had to add it to the mac because like the creamy salty pasta with a spicy sauce it's the perfect combo and then it came with cornbread that you got to dip in the juice from the green so it gets really moist and it's so buttery and and the greens were fire by themselves though, like earthy and a little bitter in a good way. But just look at this beautiful golden brown flaky sweet potato pie. It was heavenly. Like the filling was so sugary and a little cinnamony, but not too sweet. And the crust, it was so buttery. I'd come back just for the pie, but oh, wait, I'd also come back for the best sweet tea I've ever had. Like the flavor was so complex, so sweet, but you can still taste like the honey and the lemon and yeah, just so flavorful. And that's all for today. Only eating street food for a full day in France. We stumbled on this market by the port where this lady was making shishis, which are like these big fried dough fritters that are covered in sugar and you can dip them in Nutella. This is my heaven, like warm, crispy, pillowy fried dough with thick, rich, chocolatey Nutella. It is so good. Oh, and they also have these takeaway pasta spots with so many different options. I got the arrabbiata that has spicy, garlicky tomato sauce and the ziti was like perfectly al dente. And honestly, it was a lot hotter than than I was expecting, but like super rich, like really flavorful. And then we had to try panis, which are these fried chickpea pancakes and little discs. And she salted them up real nice. Like they were super salty and so light with a little crisp on the outside, but then the inside is almost custardy. It's like really soft. And finally, we went to the street food shop that had these aioli sandwiches and the baguette had this perfect crispy crust, the symphony of crackle. <laughs> <laughs> it had fish and eggs and this super garlicky delicious aioli like it was so flavorful and that's all for today everything i ate my first day in italy we got lunch at this restaurant where the menu was set like we didn't pick anything and they served us this pasta that kind of looked like green beans and it was so good like the pesto was so nutty and cheesy and garlicky and the pasta had this perfect chew really really fun texture and then for dessert they brought us this little baby cup of sorbet it was super lemony and sweet and creamy but definitely more of an ice texture than an ice cream and then we were walking and we found this focaccia that had these pies and cakes and we got this torta monterosa Sina? Torta Monterosina. That was this short crust pastry filled with layers of custard and sponge cake and a mixture of apricot jam and dark chocolate. And it wasn't too sweet at all, just really smooth and creamy. And then we found a fried seafood shop that smelled so good. I got this giant cone filled with squid and shrimp and fish and they're all fried so perfectly like not oily at all just super light and crunchy and tangy and i don't know if i've ever had a fried anchovy but oh boy it is salty a little too strong of a flavor for me personally but the calamari was incredible and that's all for today letting locals decide what i eat for a full day in barcelona i don't know if this is cheating but we asked the lady at the information center because she's a local and she said to go to the square that was gorgeous there were all these people dancing and this orchestra was playing and we heard about this hotel with an incredible view 
you. Unfortunately, they weren't serving food yet, so we had a little fun start to the morning, but I'm not complaining. And then we found a snack stand, and the lady said to go to another square, where she said there was a lot of great options, and we picked the place with the best reviews, and look at this mortadella burrata pizza. Oh my gosh, it was so soft and milky and rich, and I, I'm just obsessed with it. And then the mortadella had pistachios in it too. The pizza also had mozzarella, so it was like double cheesy, and the creamy burrata with a crispy crust. It's the perfect combo. Oh, then we asked our server, who said we had to get churros. So we stopped at a cafe and they came with little cups of this thick, rich, warm, hot chocolate. And it's not too sweet at all. It's like really cocoa-y and the churro has this perfect deep fried crunch. And finally, we stopped at the convenience shop and he said to go to McDonald's. Like, I'm not even lying, but I'm kind of obsessed with the burgers here because they use Gouda cheese, which adds so much flavor. And it also had this creamy camembert cheese sauce and cheddar cheese. It was so cheesy. And I also got the loaded wedges this time, which were so crispy. And again, like they do not not skimp so much cheese and bacon and that's all for today everything i ate on the most famous street in spain today we explored the iconic las ramblas but we tried to find some actual good food so first we went to this gorgeous pastry shop where they had these red velvet cookies that were filled with like a cream cheese frosting and they had these crunchy chocolate chips so sugary but so good then we went to the spot that's been here since 1941 because you know we had to get some paella oh look at that saucy steamy rice like it just soaks up all of the yummy flavors in the seafood and it had mussels and these like langoustines I think they're called. They're like mini lobsters. Super savory and buttery. Then we headed down a side street to this restaurant that is such a vibe. It changes into a club at night and they have this punk French toast with ice cream and it's like crispy and sugary on the outside but then inside it's fluffy and soaked in this sweet cream. It's really light too. And then our server said to try the ratatouille. Oh yeah, we were also vlogging this whole trip and it had these soft runny eggs and so many rich flavorful veggies with this like sweet savory tomato sauce. And finally we got a tortilla de patatas which is this fluffy omelet with potatoes and onions and it's so buttery like so much flavor and that's all for today only eating at bakeries for a full day in France. Tell me why all these pastries were like little works of art. They were so pretty. Like, look at this eclair. It was filled with this savory, nutty pistachio cream and these juicy raspberries. And it was just like the softest, most delicious thing ever. And have you ever seen a more gorgeous croissant? No, no, you haven't. It was incredible. So soft, but also so flaky and so buttery and just so fresh. And apparently this onion anchovy olive flatbread is really popular here. And like the salty anchovies with the salty olive and the onions just wasn't my favorite combo ever, but the crust was really crispy and again, so buttery. And then this bakery has been here since 1781. They're famous for these like boat-shaped biscuits, but I had to get a baguette <laughs> and the texture was spot on. It's so crispy. And then like the springy, chewy center and the flavor, it had this like delicious salty aftertaste. I didn't have any cheese with me, so I saved the rest for later. And these are their famous navettes. So they're really popular here, but I didn't know you're not supposed to eat them alone because they're so dry. So I ordered a latte and I dunked it in it and that's the ticket. The orange flavor is so strong too. And this final bakery had these gorgeous cakes. I got this beautiful flacier cake with a super soft Genoese sponge and toasted meringue on top. And then this silky cream, it just melted in my mouth. And this lemon meringue tart was too good. Like y'all know I have a sweet tooth. I love meringue. It's so fluffy and sugary and light. And the lemon filling was perfectly tart. And that's all for today. Everything I ate in Rome. First up, we went to this beautiful family owned restaurant. And when you're in Rome, you have to eat these deep fried artichokes. So this is an old Jewish dish and they're twice fried. So the leaves get super crispy and they have that rich deep fried flavor. They're so buttery. And of course you have to get cacio e pepe and just look at how perfectly al dente. And it's made with this like super sharp, bold pecorino romano. It's so sharp. It's almost a little spicy somehow, but yeah, just so cheesy and comforting. And we found a spot with a bunch of different flavors of supli, which are these like saucy fried rice balls with cheese inside. And they are so crispy, crunchy on the outside and then the rice like soaks up the sauce and is super flavorful. Oh, this one was cacio e pepe flavored, which was so peppery and really salty too. Like so much creamy, stretchy mozzarella. This one was my favorite. And you got to get the gelato with the little lids on top and she added whipped cream to it. I got lemon and passion fruit because it's so hot out and this was just like the most fruity, tangy, refreshing thing in the world and it's so creamy. I can't. And I kept seeing these tramanzini, which are these like triangular sandwiches on this soft white bread with a crust strip removed and this one was grilled so it had a little crisp and it was filled with a super thin almost buttery capocolo and so much cheese yum and that's all for today 
everything I ate in Wonderland. This is an Alice in Wonderland themed restaurant on Royal Caribbean and the Mad Hatter greets you at the front door. The whole restaurant is absolutely gorgeous and you have to paint your menu with this magic water to order. And all of the bevs are so pretty. Also look at our view. And then each of the dishes is a whole experience. So they're based off of the elements. So like this smoky deviled egg dish was spicy because it represents fire. This one was my favorite. It's called the Mad Hatter's Purple Potted Shrimp and it came with spicy whipped butter and they were so crispy, crunchy. And they just kept bringing food. I think we had like five appetizers. These crispy crab cones had avocado mousse on top that was so creamy, like really smooth. Anyway, onto the mains. So I got the short rib with Bordelaise sauce that came with fluffy mashed potatoes and the short rib on Royal Ships is so good. It just melts in your mouth. And then the Mad Hatter came and said it was my unbirthday. So he brought me so many desserts and I've said it before, this chocolate ball dessert is like my favorite thing ever. It has this thick peanut butter ganache and this salted caramel gelato and the warm melty chocolate. I'm in love. We also got this adorable mushroom cake with little meringue mushrooms. It's kind of a gamble because one of the meringue mushrooms is a bad spicy one. So choose carefully. And that's all for today. Letting the crew decide what I eat for a full day in Rome. I literally got to interview the captain who said, the first time I went to Rome, I had caprese salad and it's my favorite. And the flavor contrast is amazing. Like the creamy, fatty, milky mozzarella with a sweet, acidic tomato. And this is Darren, the hotel manager. And he said, the pizza there is more watering. Oh, and this is the cruise director, Mercedes. I'm obsessed with her. She had so many suggestions. Uh, pizza capricciosa with a small little plate of gnocchi and to finish a gelato. So of course I had to get pizza and I didn't know pizza capricciosa had eggs on it, but like it totally works. It adds this soft richness to the crispy crust and i had to get some gnocchi for mercedes and this pomodoro sauce is like the best pasta sauce i've ever had i'm not even kidding it's so thick and smooth and rich and the gnocchi just melts in your mouth like little pasta pillows and finally you gotta get the gelato with the metal lids on top so that means it's stored at the right temperature and it is like the creamiest thing you've ever tasted like you think you know what creamy ice cream is but you don't until you try this and then the hazelnut pistachio combo is so nutty and savory sweet and that's all for today